praise the Lord. Today, I am praying over those of you that are experiencing fear, worry, and anxiety. I know that in this season, there are turbulent times. So the Lord is just placing on my heart to speak words of encouragement over you today. So the scripture says, there is no fear in love. But perfect love drives out fear because fear has to do with punishment. The one who fears is not made perfect in love. So we want to just release everything within our heart and soul and spirit unto the Lord so that we can just cast out all fear that that's, has a grip over our hearts. Psalms 94 19 says, When anxiety was great within me, your consolation brought joy to my soul so i've experienced so many times and situations in my life that fear weary anxiety wanted wanted to just grip my heart but you know what i chose to do a stop instead of allowing fear and weary to settle in my heart i began to i would always get into the word of god and look at the promises of God concerning my situations and the circumstances that I was going through. And God began to just release a supernatural peace over my heart, mind, and spirit. Because the word of the Lord encourages us not to be worried or anxious about anything, but to make our requests known unto the Lord. So that is what I chose to do uh, to make my requests known unto the Lord. So I want to pray in your behalf today. Father, I just thank you, Lord God. I thank you for your goodness. I thank you for your faithfulness. Father, I thank you that you love us each and every day. Father, for your word says your mercy is new every morning. And Lord, I thank you for your mercies because Lord, your mercies doesn't allow us to be consumed. I thank you, Father God, that no weapon that the enemy have formed against your people, it cannot prosper. I break off the assignment of the enemy that comes to bring fear, weary, and anxiety. I break that off in the powerful name of Jesus. Father, your word says, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me, and your rod and your staff, they comfort me. I thank you, Lord, even in the midst of turbulent times and times of pestilence. Father, you are yet present, Father. And Lord, we can lean confidently on you, Father. So I cancel out the plans of the enemy. I come against sickness. I come against um, diseases that the enemy has planned to take people out prematurely. I break that off in the powerful name of Jesus. Father, I thank you, Lord God. I pray for that special hedge of protection over the people today, Father. Those that are battling sickness and disease in their bodies. Father, I speak a miraculous miracle to take place. I just speak and release that over them today, Father. Lord, I pray, Father God, those that are uh, battling, oh God, uh, respiratory uh, dysfunction in their lungs and throughout their bodies, Father. I come against that in the powerful name of Jesus. Father, I pray, Lord, for recovery of the sick and infirm. Thank you, Father. I just lift them up before you in prayer, Father. Thank you, Lord. Your word says, therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. Father, there are many going through financial situations and difficulties in their families. So, Father, I lift up the family before you in prayer and ask that you will touch the family unit, touch the, the marriages, the husband and wife. Lord, that you would do something supernatural. Lord, use that wife, use that husband to be a tool of healing, restoration within the home, Father. Lord, touch their hearts and soul and spirit that they would speak love, release love and peace within their household, Father. I come against the, the works of the enemy to bring strife or division within the household. I break that assignment off in the powerful name of Jesus Christ. Father, where the enemy wants to bring in division because of lack of funds in the household, I break that off in the powerful name of Jesus. 
Jesus. Father, I thank you, Lord God, that people will start to just lean on you, put their full trust in you, Father. Lord, even in the midst of lack, Father, we can lean on you. We can trust, Lord, that you will see us through. You will bring us out of this, Father. And Lord, I say thank you for your faithfulness. Father, your word says, do not worry about your life, what you will eat, up, or about your body, what you will wear. Life is more than food, and the body more than clothes. Consider the ravens. They do not sow or reap. They have no storeroom or born, yet God feeds them. And how much more valuable you are than birds. Who of you, by worrying, can add a single hour to his life? Since you cannot do this very little thing, why do you worry about the rest? So, Lord, we thank you, Lord. You have admonished us in your word that we should not be worrying about what we're going to eat, worrying about what we're going to put on, worrying about our physical body. But Lord, you have encouraged us to put our full trust, our full reliance in you, Father. I say thank you, Lord God, because you are our good, good shepherd, and we shall not want. Thank you, Father God. We, we bless your holy name, Father. Lord, we bless your holy name. We say yes to your will, yes to your way, Father. Lord, fill us up, Lord, with your love, with your presence, with your kindness, with your goodness. Let your love abound and increase in our hearts and our soul and spirit. Father, we give our life to you, Father. We dedicate our lives, Son, to you, Father. We say yes to your will, yes to your way father thank you lord god so i will encourage you today be strong and courageous do not be afraid or terrified because of what is going on in this world today but put your put your full faith your full trust and reliance in the lord and the powerful name of jesus we bind the works of the enemy that comes to steal to kill and to destroy we bind it in authority of jesus christ's name father for your word says we shall tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all the powers of the enemy. And Father, I decree no weapon that Satan have brought against us. It cannot continue to operate. It will not prosper in the powerful name of Jesus. I decree and declare your blessings have been released upon your people today. We're blessed going in, blessed going out, Father. Thank you, Lord, for your goodness and thank you for your faithfulness in the powerful name of Jesus. Thank you.